And then, yeah, as far as Matt's concerned, I mean, it's, it's an unfortunate situation, right? Matt's a strong young man. I know he's going to handle this. Uh, certainly um, tough, especially coming off of the year he, he came off of already. Um, the good thing is he's got, he's got good, a good family behind him that's gonna, that are going to support him, uh, teammates that are going to support him, as well as the coaching staff and our entire football organization. Um, you know, he's resilient. We've got to be resilient. Uh, we've got to move forward and be focused on solutions. Um, so with that, I'll turn it over to you. What, what happened uh, as much as you can give us about the injury and how it came through? Yeah, it was uh, just a tackling drill, and and uh, Matt was tackling a, a, a bag and um, hit his arm and um, looked like maybe on somebody's leg just a little bit, and, and then that's what we fig- we think was the uh, was the episode. Is there a possibility of him returning this year, or is it too early to say? Too early. Yeah, Jay, too early at this point. So. Uh, you touched on a little bit in your opening statement there, but you know, he, he went through it last year and fought real hard to get back. How, how, did, how devastating is this just from a personal level for him? Well, we're all human at the end of the day. And uh, I mean, Matt's a heck of a football player, but if we if we back up and, and those of us that know Matt, I mean, he's a uh, tremendous young man. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He's been through it. And this game means a lot to him. This team means a lot to him. Um, and so that, in addition to the injury, is what makes this, makes this difficult. Um, again, when you know the person, you know that this is not going to beat or keep Matt Milano down. You know, obviously this period in time right now has, has been tough for him, for all of us, but in particular for him and his family. And he knows all the work that he put in. No one knows the work that Matt put in to get, get himself back to where he was um, before, before this recent injury. So, um, you know, that's, that's probably one of the harder things to swallow, pills to swallow right now is we just saw him work his, his butt off. He stayed, he stayed in Buffalo all, all summer. Um, to get back off of off of the leg injury, and now and now this happens. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate set of circumstances, but again, I I know he's going to handle it well. Just to clarify, it is bicep, right? Um, yes, bicep. Yeah. How prepared is Dorian Williams to potentially slide into that role? Yeah, Dorian's going to do a good job. Um, he's been making progress, and and uh, it's now not only his time to step up, but but all the all his teammates around him to step up. It's not just one person's job to fill to fill the void or try and fill the void, you know, left by Matt. It's you're never re- going to replace a player like Matt um, or Matt's influence. But now it's time for our team to to uh, to move forward in a resilient manner and and pick each other up. And, and guys like Dorian have to step up. Sean, what do you hope to accomplish out there today? Like, what's the goal for you? as a head coach and a joint practice today? Yeah, I mean, first of all, choosing Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh choosing us, um, I have a lot of respect for, and we have a lot of respect for, the Rooney family and this organization. They've done things at a high level for a long time, and um, Mike and I go back a ways as well. So that, that respect and that trust were critical ingredients in terms of us deciding to do this together. and. They're a good football team with good players, and and uh, we anticipate getting real good work out there today. There was an NFL coach that said that if a player fights in a joint practice, that it'll dictate what they, how long they play the next preseason. Yeah. Do you have any rules like that with your players that you talk about? No, just that um, if they fight, they're out. So they're out of this practice if they fight. That's not how we do do things. It, it is emotional. It is competitive. Um, you know, so we're hoping that one practice, um, one practice is a good, clean practice. They get the work they need. We get the work we need, and we got to keep big, bigger picture perspective here in terms of what we're trying to do for the season and what they're trying to do. With, with Matt out, how much do you again look to Terrell as a leader of that group? Yeah, similar to last year. I mean, he came in as a young player and having not really played a whole lot himself last season and had a good season and. And so what I've seen over the offseason is him continue to step up his, his influence as a leader on our football team. And um, he's been very intentional about that. And, um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, developing that rapport now. Last year it was, and I was looking forward to watching Matt and, and, and TB work together. Now it's Dorian and TB at this point. And, and so um, that, that rapport and building that rapport is going to be important for us. What's the thoughts of you? 